Which movie can be identified by a single quote? Run, Forrest. Run. Edit. Typo. I am your father. This. Is. Sparta. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark quote. Who ya gonna call? I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Here's Johnny. What is just not the flex that people think it is? Never taking your PTO. I'm my own boss, MLM participant. Do you know who my dad, mom, or parents are? No, no one cares. The I never take a day off types who live at work. How bad does your home life have to be? My co-workers flexing their $900 car payments for new cars they didn't need to buy with high interest rates. Bruh I'm such an alcoholic I can drink X amount of alcohol. Straight people of Reddit, when was the moment that you discovered that you were straight? Watching Star Trek repeats with my parents in the mid-80s I was always oddly excited by Uhura in her miniskirt before I even truly understood what it meant. I must have been about seven or eight. When browsing through my mom's Sears catalog and the pictures of women in bras gave me instant wood. My first girlfriend said, at first I thought you were gay. Last girl to come to me in a club. Asked her if she wanted to make out and she replied, sure you'll be my first gay. Half of the people I meet think I'm gay from how I dress and behave. I'm rediscovering my straightness every day. As I'm constantly faced with the fact that the universe wants me to suck dick. While I have no interest in it. Edit. For the guys in my DMS. It's not bait. Stop trying. You don't even know that I'm gorgeous. In third grade. Had the biggest crush on a boy named Carl. This boy put butterflies in my stomach and I wanted to make him smile and really like me. Asked around and found out he loved G.I. Joe. Now. I watched the cartoon and all but after I found this out about Carl. I became the best expert I could be. Read the back of every action figure. Comics. Even drilled my brother and his friends. Everything Joe and Cobra. I get up the courage one day to impress Carl with all my new knowledge and it works. He said I could play G.I. Joe with him and his friends at recess. Score. I asked to be Snake Eyes and he just laughed. He said I had to be Scarlet or Lady J because girls can't be Snake Eyes and laughed. Then his friends laughed. I stepped on his foot hard and walked off. That's the day I realized that boys not my brother could really suck. Still straight. Eating a rotisserie chicken in the Home Depot parking lot at 2 a.m. So there I was just smoking this cock like a Cuban meat cigar. When I said to myself. I said, cabbage. You don't got the knees for this. Straight ever since. People with ADHD what is the worst thing about it? The inability to do something that you want to do, for no clearly discernible reason. I hyper-focus on something for a few months and then I lose all interest in it because I get bored. Emotional regulation and impulsivity is a terrible combination. Makes me feel like my thoughts are alien. That and my head is always running. Always. There's always dialogue in my head. Constantly. Non-stop. It is so, tiring. Lack of executive function. I know I need to do. A. I know I should do. A. I could easily do. A. And yet I'm sitting here thinking about. A. And it's like I can't will my body to get up and do. A. Executive dysfunction. No fucking contest. Underscore underscore underscore. This manifests as an asterisk inability to prioritize. Which means asterisk paralysis asterisk over literally any scenario where you make decisions between several options. Unless of course, one of those give dopamine. Since all brains crave it. And our brain is deficient. In which case you can't stop doing it. You're trapped on TikTok. And you fucking hate yourself. 
but TikTok is feeding you dopamine through a drip and vacuuming the house won't even give you enough dopamine when you finish the damn job. That's why our attention deficit suddenly zeroes in on video games. We don't have a deficit of attention. We just can't regulate our attention. It's also why stimulant medication is so effective. It means what little dopamine our brains do make is enough for it to function almost normally. Imagine showing a starving child homework and a video game that came with a meal. Then in a few hours, homework or TikTok with a bag of chips, then vacuuming or drawing their favorite character and also eating a sandwich. Our brains are fucking starving, fucking starving all the time. But because so many people can make enough dopamine, their little snacks throughout the day, they can't fathom why a person would choose rewatching a YouTube video for the 10th time. With a meal, over going out with friends to the park, there is no meal. We don't fucking care about the YouTube video. Our brains are just fucking hungry. Underscore underscore underscore. So, hours of my day are lost to doing nothing. I mean nothing. I have things to do. I want to do them. I'd pay dearly if I don't. But for some reason, I lost several hours of morning down a hole. An asterisk I don't know where it went. Was it because I spent nearly two hours in bed trying to figure out if I was going to go to work? Today? I got up as soon as I realized I only had one option. Since I suddenly remembered my weekly in-house appointment. Or was it because I walked around the house and did two dozen jobs? Brush teeth. Find hat. Sharpen pencils. And forgot those also take time? Did I lose an extra hour because I went back inside to change to more comfortable socks? I don't know. I just can't get into the office before 11 a.m. Even though I wake up at 7.30. Underscore 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 underscore. And a lot of it is just asterisk not knowing exactly what needs to be done asterisk or why. Or how. Or when. So even when people offer to help. You can't tell them what you'd like help with. After all. That's the bit you're stuck on. If you knew what was most important. You don't. You're paralyzed. Actually fucking doing it easy. We don't struggle to asterisk physically do anything. We struggle to asterisk psychologically start anything. Telling you that you can help us by bringing in the laundry requires us to look at a list of laundry dishes, cook, work, change, and figure out which of those is the place to start. An asterisk that's what is broken. Too many people aren't aware that management is also labor. An asterisk that's asterisk the part of our brain that doesn't work. Hash 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 asterisk 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 case in point. I can't even figure out what I'd need to do to make this shorter. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. What parts of this comment can I safely remove? I don't know. It all looks equally important to me. So I have to leave the entire monstrosity here even though nobody will ever fucking read it. Especially other ADHD people. Underscore 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 underscore. It's so fucking hard to do anything. And no. You can't help. I goddamn wish you could. The only way another person can help is by making their own executive decisions on how to do so. And that's the biggest reason why ADHD people struggle in relationships that becomes parentism. Really fucking quick. Even when we know it's happening. I get frustrated easily and if I'm not good at something right away then my brain just shuts down. What's really going to ruin the world? Greed. It's the proven winner. Sun's gonna explode someday. Thinking that it's already ruined. You tend not to take care of things which you have already given up on. We won't fight for a lost cause. And unfortunately many of us think the world already is. I'm an optimist. And I do think the future can be brighter. I don't know to whom to attribute the quote but. I see flowers in our future because today I am planting flowers. They continue to only add five damn gushers in a pack pouting. Selfishness. Ruin the world? Not much. Kill a major fraction of the human race? The classics are war. Famine. 
and pandemics screw up the lives of countless people? Greed. What is the most beautiful fact you know about the universe? In the grand scheme of things, diamonds are everywhere and gold is only moderately rare, but pearls and amber are exclusive to Earth. We still hardly know anything. James Webb is pushing the boundaries of not only the edges of the universe, but pushing on our current understandings of physics in a big way like it may be wrong, incomplete. This is a wonderful thing, time to be alive. From Bill Bryson. Every time you breathe, you exhale some 25 sextillion. That's 2.5 times 1022. Molecules of oxygen. So many that with a day's breathing you will in all likelihood inhale at least one molecule from the breaths of every person who has ever lived. And every person who lives from now until the sun burns out will from time to time breathe in a bit of you. At the atomic level, we are in a sense eternal. If you look across the entire galaxy, as far as we know, trees are billions upon billions of times more rare than diamonds. Go sit under a tree. It's the best way to feel wealthy. That you are the result of an unbroken line from the first moment of life on this planet until now. Against all the odds. You made it. I exist in the same time and space with my wife and my dog. Subscribe, my brothers.